Hello everyone. As you already know, the topic of this video is stability of emulsion. So let's begin. Emulsion is a biphasic system, which means it has two phases: dispersed phase and dispersion medium. Dispersed phase is in small quantity and dispersion medium is in larger quantity. So it consists of two immiscible liquids. Both phase and medium are liquids which are immiscible in each other. And dispersed phase is dispersed uniformly throughout the dispersion medium. Next is the processes or steps in instability of emulsion. It means what are the processes or mechanism which makes emulsion unstable or unfit for pharmaceutical medicinal uses. First is flocculation and creaming. Second is coalescence and breaking. Third is phase inversion and rest of the other causes are physical and chemical changes. Flocculation and creaming. As you can see in this diagram, first of all there is a good emulsion which has dispersed phase represented by the dark spots in dispersed uniformly in the dispersion medium. After some time, these dispersed phase globules come together or aggregate together to form aggregations or bigger drops which are also called flocks. After some time, these aggregates or flocks float to the surface of the emulsion forming a creamy layer and this process is known as creaming. Creaming is a reversible process and rate of creaming is given by Stokes law and represented by V. According to Stokes law, rate of creaming is directly proportional to d square which is globule diameter and difference between densities of dispersed phase and dispersion medium represented by rho s minus rho naught and g which is acceleration due to gravity divided by 18 eta naught where eta naught is equal to viscosity of dispersion medium. Factors affecting creaming According to Stokes law, the rate of creaming is directly proportional to diameter of globule. So as the diameter or size of globule dispersed phase increases, rate of creaming will also increase. Also rate of creaming is directly proportional to acceleration due to gravity and inversely proportional to the viscosity of dispersion medium. So if the dispersion medium is more viscous or dense, it means that rate of creaming will be slower. And if the difference between the density of dispersed phase and medium is positive, it will mean that density of phase is more than the density of medium and it will result in downward creaming means the settling of those flocules to the bottom of the container. Next is coalescence and breaking. So according to this diagram, we had first of all a good emulsion, then it flocculated. After that, flocculation led to creaming. Now this creaming will lead to coalescence in which these aggregates of flocks will fuse together to form a bigger dispersed phase globule due to rupture of interfacial film. And this process is known as coalescence. You can also see clearly in this diagram difference between the coalescence and creaming. In creaming, these separate dispersed globules have just aggregated together but in coalescence they have merged together to form a bigger single globule. Now this coalescence will lead to breaking which is an irreversible process. In breaking, these bigger globules have again fused and separated in a form of different layer. Now you can see a clear line of difference between the dispersed phase and dispersion medium. Next is phase inversion. In phase inversion, one form of emulsion converts into another type of emulsion. That is, if our emulsion was of oil in water type, then it will be converted into water in oil type of emulsion. The factors which can cause phase inversion are adding of electrolytes. If your emulsion is stabilized by an ionic surfactant and you have now added electrolytes then due to neutralization of charge there will be phase inversion. Another factor is phase volume ratio. For an emulsion to be stable, dispersed phase concentration should be between 60 to 74% in the emulsion 
and if it exceeds 74% then there will be phase inversion. Third factor is temperature change. If the emulsion is kept in a hot environment then the increased temperature will interfere with the hydrophilic lipophilic balance or HLB balance of the surfactants causing phase inversion. To avoid this emulsion should be kept in cool and dry place. Another factors causing instability in emulsion are physical and chemical changes. So the natural gums and starch which are used as emulsifiers may contain excessive amount of bacteria that can grow and change the pH of emulsion leading to breaking. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.